hi all welcome back to my channel today i am going to give you a very simple lecture on the types of culture media the food material required for growing microorganisms in vitro is called culture media it is very important to culture the microorganisms outside the body we have to isolate the microorganism to identify the causative organism of infections from clinical samples to study the characteristics or special properties of microorganisms for maintaining stocks to prepare biological products like vaccines stock salts antigens etc for all these we have to grow the microorganisms outside the body composition of culture media the ingredients are water an energy source carbon source nitrogen source mineral salts and special growth factors coming to the history of culture media louis pasteur introduced or used the simple culture media that is liquid media urine or meat extract is used for making liquid media robert koch later on introduced the solid media and the first solid media was cooked cut potato gelatin was used for or it was many attempts were made to use gelatin for solidifying but gelatin has some inherent problems it is existing as liquid at normal incubating temperatures and it is digested by certain bacteria later on agar was introduced by fanny hesse wife of walter hesse and now we are using agar as the universal solidifying agent types of culture media first one is classification based on physical state solid medium semi solid medium and liquid medium solid medium agar is added in solid medium it is the most commonly used solidifying agent example for solid medium are nutrient agar blood agar chocolate agar mcconkey agar etc agar it is a golden yellow granular powder it is used for preparing solid medium that is it is added as a solidifying agent it is obtained from different seaweeds such as gracilaria gelidium it is having no nutritive value it is not affected by the growth of the bacteria then it melts at 95 to 98 degrees celsius and remain liquid up to 40 to 42 degrees celsius we are employing 2% agar in solid media and it is easily available and is economical advantages of solid media the colony characters can be observed in solid media the bacteria fungi etc can be identified the mixed bacteria can be easily separated we can isolate bacteria in pure culture special properties of bacteria such as hemolysis pigment production swarming etc can be observed coming to semi solid media it is soft media it is used in demonstrating bacterial motility for separating motile from non motile strains here we are adding only 0.2 to 0.5 percentage agar the example for semi solid media is mannitol motility medium liquid media here agar is absent it is referred as broth bacteria grow uniformly producing a general turbidity in the liquid media example is the thioglycolate broth peptone water nutrient broth etc advantages of liquid media it is used for obtaining growth from blood and water for preparing bulk cultures of bacteria for vaccine production that is we can use liquid media to test large amount of samples such as blood and water disadvantage is that in liquid media bacteria they do not exhibit any special characteristics and cannot be used for identifying the bacteria it is very difficult to isolate bacteria from mixed cultures these are the disadvantages types of culture media classification based on the ingredients uh, we can see uh, simple medium complex medium synthetic or defined medium special media this is a second classification the common ingredients of culture media are water water is very essential for the bacterial growth we are using distilled water then peptone complex mixture of partially digested proteins the protein may be animal or plant protein and the constituents are proteoses polypeptides amino acids and a variety of inorganic salts including potassium magnesium and certain accessory growth factors such as riboflavin it is a universal ingredient of almost all culture media different brands of peptone are available they are showing differences uh, slight differences in composition and growth promoting factors special brands of peptone such as neopeptone proteospeptone are available 
Then meat extract. It is the aqueous extract of lean beef tissue and it is concentrated into a paste. Uh, contain water soluble substances of animal tissues. It is providing amino acids, vitamins, minerals, salts, etc. Commercially available meat extract. It is known as lab lemco. Yeast extract. It is also an aqueous extract of yeast cells. It is commercially available as powder. It is very rich in vitamin B. Also contain organic nitrogen and carbon compounds. It is used to stimulate the growth of bacteria. Mineral salts. Traces of magnesium, potassium, iron and calcium are essential for the bacterial enzyme activity. Then carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide bacteria with energy and carbon source. Agar. Agar it's a long chain polysaccharide obtained from seaweeds or marine algae. Alga. It is uh, used as a solidifying agent. Then it is having uh, the jellyfying property of the agar. It is different in different brands, uh, mainly occurring as powder form. And the jellyfying property of New Zealand agar is more when compared to Japanese agar. So different brands are uh, showing different jellyfying pro properties. Then simple media. First one is simple media. Simple media or basal media. Example is nutrient broth, nutrient agar. These are all simple media. Uh, we can see only the normal ingredients in simple media. And simple media are widely used in the microbiological laboratories. Uh, uh, the most widely used simple media in our common microbiology labs are nutrient agar and nutrient broth. Then peptone water is also a simple media. The nutrient broth, it consists of peptone meat extract and SEL and yeast extract. Uh, to nutrient broth, we can add 2% agar so that the nutrient broth can be converted to nutrient agar. Complex medium such as blood agar is an example. Uh, here the ingredients uh, that extract components are difficult to estimate in complex medium. That's the specialty of complex medium. Synthetic or defined media means uh, they are defined that is specially prepared media from pure chemical substances. They are mainly used for research purposes and composition of each and every component will be uh, well known. Uh, example is uh, in peptin water we can see it is a uh, synthetic or defined medium that is we can see in peptin water we are adding only 1% pepton, 0.5% sodium chloride and we are taking 100 ml of water. So almost all, all the ingredients are uh, very well known. So it is a synthetic or defined medium. Special media. We can see different types of special media, enriched media, selective media, enrichment media, differential media, indicator media, transport media, anaerobic media and sugar media. First we can see enriched media. Enriched media means substances like blood, serum, egg etc. added to simple media to enrich the simple medium. And this enrichment, enriched media it is widely used for growing fastidious microorganisms that is which are having more nutritional requirements. Such type of microorganisms can be grown using enriched media. Examples are blood agar, chocolate agar etc. Uses of blood agar and chocolate agar. Blood agar and chocolate agar are widely used as enriched medium for growing fastidious organisms and this blood agar has a special purpose that is it can be used for differentiating bacteria based on their hemolytic properties. Blood agar and chocolate agar it contain mainly mammalian blood. Sheep or horse blood can be used 5 to 10 percentage blood is added. Then the blood agar contain RBC that have been added to agar base at 45 to 50 degrees Celsius very slowly. Chocolate agar contain blood added to agar base at 80 degrees Celsius. It is used for growing fastidious bacteria such as Haemophilus influenzae. So blood agar and chocolate agar are prepared by adding blood into uh, agar base. Enrichment medium is the second medium. Enrichment media refers to a liquid media. It is inhibiting the growth of unwanted bacteria so that we can isolate the wanted bacteria from mixed cultures very easily. One example is tetrathionate broth. Enrichment liquid media uh, used for cultivation of Salmonella typhi and other Salmonella species from fecal sample because fecal sample it is highly uh, populated with different types of microorganisms so from this mixture we can easily isolate the salmonella typhi using tetrathionate broth selective medium the inhibitory substance is added to a solid medium to inhibit the commensal or the unwanted bacteria thereby promoting the growth of wanted bacteria the purpose of selective media is also the same as that of enrichment media the only difference is that enrichment media is a liquid media and selective media is a solid media 
the inhibitory substances added may be antibiotics, dyes, chemicals or we can alter pH etc. Then examples of the selective media are Thayer Martin media. It is used for the selection of Neisseria species and uh, here we are using a combination of antibiotics for selecting Neisseria gonorrhea such as vancomycin, colistin, nystatin, thymethoprim etc. Second one is eosin methylene blue agar. It is another selective media for gram negative bacteria. The dimethylene blue is added in the medium so that it inhibit the gram positive bacteria. Campylobacter agar it is used for isolation of Campylobacter jejuni from fecal or rectal swab. It contains bacteriological charcoal, cephoperazone and amphotericin B thereby selecting Campylobacter. Third one is Lovenstein Jensen medium that is solid media used for mycobacterium tuberculosis. It contains mainly antibiotics and malachite green to inhibit the growth of gram positive and gram negative bacteria in order to limit the growth to mycobacterium species only. Coming to the differential media, these are designed to bring out the differing characteristics of bacteria and thus helping to distinguish between them and they can be categorized or they can be recognized on the basis of their colony color. Dyes and metabolic substrates are mainly incorporated so that the bacteria that utilize them appear as differently colored colonies. Many examples are there, Mekongi agar, Cled agar, TCBS agar, XLD agar, etc. Examples, Mekongi agar, here we are adding the metabolic substrate as lactose and indicator is neutral red and it distinguishes between the lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. Some of the bacteria they can utilize lactose and they appear in pink colonies others are non-lactose fermenters they will appear colorless or pale in color this is non-lactose fermenter colonies then selective uh, and indicator media it is also acting as a selective media it can select gram negative bacteria and it is also acting as an indicator media cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient medium it is used for the cultivation of urine pathogens or cultivation of urine specimen then inhibits the swarming of proteus here also we can see lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. Lactose fermenters yellow in color. Indicator media. An indicator is included in the medium. A particular organism cause change in the indicator. Example is Simmon citrate agar. Here bromothymol blue is added. The sole source of carbon is citrate. And the growth of citrate utilizing organism makes a color change in the medium from green to Prussian blue. This is the Prussian blue. Next is transport media. It is used for transporting delicate organisms which may not survive. The time taken for transporting the specimen without a transport medium. Examples Stewart's medium, Amis transport medium, Bengitram and Ramakrishnan medium. Stewart's medium is recommended for transportation of Neisseria. Amis transport medium for transporting clinical swab. Then uh, Bengitram and Ramakrishnan medium, it is used for transporting Vibrio cholerae. So media it is mainly meant for transporting delicate organisms without any damage. Next is anaerobic medium. This media is used for growing anaerobic organisms. Robertson's cooked meat medium introduced by Robertson is an example. It is used for growing anaerobic organisms. It contains fat-free minced cooked meat of ox heart and nutrient broth. Supports the spore forming and non-spore forming obligate uh, anaerobes. Differentiates between putrefactive and saccharolytic anaerobic species. The medium is also called cooked meat broth. Next is sugar media. Any fermentable substance in, is sugar in microbiology. We are adding 1% sugar in peptone water and a dye is incorporated and a durams tube is kept inverted in the medium for detecting the gas production. That's all about the different types of culture media. Hope you all understand the session. Thank you. Have a nice day.